Hello friends, welcome back to my garden. I'm out here today and I need to deal with some pests that I have going on and um, I need to take care of. Uh, I'm actually sad. <laughs> I've been sad for a couple of days because of uh, all the damage that I've seen in some of my plants, some of which I will have to remove and I will show you. I am now in front of my Cheyenne Spirit Echinacea and it's not looking good. I'm gonna have to cut it and spray it and I will have to cut uh, some of the cosmos as well and I have another issue with my eggplant and it's a disaster <laughs> and I was sad I didn't come out here for two days uh, because uh, I just hate losing my plants and but it's part of gardening <laughs> I suppose and I just need to be okay with letting some of them go if they have to go um, but it sucks you know it sucks and I don't want to have to lose any of my perennials or anything but um, so let me show you what I have going on here and I'll explain how I'm going to take care of it here is my Cheyenne spirit echinacea and look at all the leaves I was doing my research and I read that that is called black spot fungus um, it actually has a name and I will put it here on the screen I don't remember now um, and we can treat it with neem oil which is what I am going to do I am using I've been using uh, easy neem and I actually know the owner through a mutual friend and she was very helpful with me um, last year when I started having aphids in my garden and other pests like um, what is it called it's like a spider mites spider mites and I took care of it with easy neem and she was very generous and she's giving us uh, she's giving my viewers 20% off on the first order with my uh, special code <laughs> so if you want to try it you can use my code and she will give you 20% off discount which is super generous um, so I will be using that to treat powdery mildew spider mites and the black spot and I think I have a fit somewhere else I will have to check again um, there's a lot going on here I mean I even took a picture with my phone of this weird worm in my eggplant and right next to it there was another pest so <laughs> there are some issues here but I'm gonna start by cutting my echinacea and I'm sorry if the light is not right there's a lot the Sun is actually <laughs> in my face right now um, so I hope it's okay but I will start by cutting this echinacea which I think is the best thing I can do because look at this it's not even beautiful and the plant is looking very sad because today we've had um, 90 degree weather over 90 so they look like that by the end of the day but she should be okay tomorrow I mean they're looking extra sad right now but I plan on cutting it because I don't know if this will spread I don't I don't want to risk getting it on the other plants which I am actually seeing in the other one next to it I'm seeing the the black spots starting to show up here too so I may think by cutting that one and treating it with the neem I may reduce this situation or, or completely uh, fix it I don't know this one doesn't have black spots but it has this in the blooms which look like or on a, like a fungus or something so yeah I will be cutting that and com coming over here I wanted you to see this one right here I will cut that one completely that's a cosmos plant and she's looking really bad 
so I will just cut it up completely remove it and I will spray everything around here I have arugula here which I will probably remove um, pretty soon I will spray all of it even this dill which has grown like crazy I think it should be about five feet tall it's gigantic so I will spray this too and let me see the eggplant okay moving over here I have to water everything so this is the eggplant okay and there are quite a few issues going on here look at this and I have noticed that every time there's a flower the flower dies and we don't get to see the fruit like in this case look at this this flower it fell and the fruit was supposed to come after it and it looks dead so that's been happening with every single one of them like this one too so let's see if i spraying it look oh <laughs> trying to evade me you see that they're hiding now this is where i saw the worm too but i killed it so i will spray this probably spray the tomatoes too and i think the roses also had something else going on let me see yeah i see i see some something white like that looks like cotton but there's an exit and when i try to touch it it leaped and escaped me so yeah that's what's happening here so this is how, how i'm going to do that i'll show you how i dilute the neem because you have to mix it with water it's a concentrate so i will do that now so this bottle has a measurement here and i will be using the one fourth one quarter ounce uh, it also has a, a half ounce so I will be using the one fourth or one quarter <laughs> so I just squeeze it a little bit and the neem will come up and then I'll just put it here in my one gallon watering can and then add water super easy and it smells it smells so good I'm not sure which essential oils you use for this but it smells so so good probably lemongrass rosemary or something like that it's so good so actually oh my gosh I will have to add this to my sprayer i don't know why i put it here in my watering can i should have put it in my sprayer so i'll go grab it <laughs> okay so back with my sprayer jeez all right so i'm just gonna fill this up So use a sprayer for this. <laughs> okay, so this, the maximum is 1.5 liters. So yeah, that's what I use. One, one quarter ounce for this amount of water. Perfect. So now I'm just gonna shake it. Mix it really well. And start 
spraying it. So it is recommended that you wait until the afternoon when the the strongest part of the, you know of the sun is going away because you risk burning the leaves of your plants and um, damaging them, you know, burning them. So just spray it out of it. Even the soil, I will spray the bottom of the plant and it is also recommended that you clean up all the debris, every leaf that you can find around it. So in case it's contaminated with the fungus, you can remove it and throw it away from everything else in your garden. I'm going to spray this senia because Genius get a lot of powdery mildew and I have seen uh, the white spots on their leaves so and let me show you you can see it right here powdery mildew here too so I'm just gonna spray it gonna cut this one before I move on to the other plants probably should have cut this before I spray it but I don't know what's going on with me today all right uh, oh my gosh this sucks I hate doing this hate it attached to your plants they're just plants but it does make me sad I'm not gonna lie I don't want any of them dying so I like them left a few a few leaves in the bottom but don't look too bad we'll see if with the neem the problem gets solved or we'll see we'll see what, what happens I'm just gonna clean up everything around it rid of any infected leaf. I'm gonna try to show you what the spider mites look like 
in case you don't know before I cut them I'm gonna cut the plant throw it away but if you see it's very small fine webs and they make the they turn the leaves brown so you usually find out when the when the leaves are brown and kind of like bronze color that's usually when you find out and that means the plant is completely covered <laughs> unfortunately and you can see this one has all the leaves have dried out so I'm just gonna cut it completely so I'm just gonna spray the dill and the plants around that cosmos this one too and I will have to come back in I think three, three days and spray them again because that is the cycle of the spider mites wanted to quickly show you this last year this was one of my biggest struggles this hibiscus because it, it had so many worms there, there were these tiny green worms that ate all the leaves and the flowers and this is the first <laughs> sign of something eating these plants so far I haven't seen any worms I checked under the leaves everywhere and i haven't seen the worms but i found this so i'm gonna keep an eye on that one and if i see oh wait oh wait you see this that's usually those green those uh black thingies dots that's i think the poop <laughs> actually from caterpillars so i imagine there's one around it somewhere so I'm just gonna keep an eye on it and spray it with BT which is what I use for for these caterpillars that eat the leaves also going to spray this other these are zinnias that I have right here in this pot and as you can see I'm looking at the leaves they have some of that powder mildew going on as well and this one is a um, salvia, rubbing deep purple salvia, I think, by Proving Winners. And I think I'm gonna have to move it to the ground. I don't know where I'm gonna put it because I don't have a lot of, you know, full sun areas where I can put it right now. But it doesn't seem to be doing very good. And I don't know if it's a, I don't think it's a, it's any pest or anything. I think it's that is. I, has I've grown that pot so and I'm still gonna give it under something just in case look at the bees they love it and the hummingbirds too and the zinnias I always see them here so moving on to the last part of the garden that I'm going to spray so last but not least I'm going to spray this eggplant trying to get rid of all of these insects and worms and mildew whatever is going on there seems to be a lot going on I'm wondering if I'll get to try one of these eggplants gotcha They're fast.
hopefully this will solve all these issues. Oh my gosh, one of these insects just jumped to my face. I still have tomatoes. I'm good to try those. But I should be thinking of what else I'm going to plant in here. <laughs> I'll probably have to cut this plant. Get rid of it. If this doesn't get solved. Alright my friends, thank you so much for watching. I hope that that was helpful, at least know that you're not alone if you are dealing with um, this type of problems in your own garden so i want to thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye bye